Hi everyone, welcome back to another 30 minute class. And the class today is all about going inwards and checking in. So we're going to be checking in with how we feel in the physical body, what sensations are going on, any areas that feel like they need a bit of attention. We're also checking in with our emotions, our thoughts, what's going on with our mindset, using our yoga, yoga practice today as a tool to facilitate this kind of inquiry. So come on over to your yoga mat. I'm going to start in a child's pose today. If you use any um, props for your practice, maybe a block or a cushion, feel free to grab them now and have them nearby your mat. And then bring the big toes together, start to walk the hands forwards, and let the forehead rest down onto the mat, a block, or maybe onto your hands. So as soon as you arrive here in this initial pose, start that sense of inquiry. Think about how you feel here. How does your body respond to being in this position? How do you feel arriving in your balasana or child's pose today? No, this is a pose that we come to a lot in our yoga practice. So just checking in, noticing how it feels in your body today. Knowing that every day is different. Just seeing if you can come here, letting go of expectation, letting go of any idea of how you should be in this moment. Just simply arriving. Starting to slow down and deepen every breath. And if the arms aren't already extended, start to reach them out long now. And then just start to creep the right fingertips forwards towards the front of the mat. So you're stretching a little bit deeper into the right side of the body. Holding into that space for a moment. Then let that hand come back down to neutral and start to creep the left fingertips forwards. Lengthening through the opposite side now. And again, letting it drop back down. And then from here, start to rise up onto your fingertips if that feels good for you. Working into those shoulders a little bit more, kind of creating little tent shapes with the hands. And our shoulders tend to suffer quite a lot when we're sitting down, hunching, rounding through the upper back. So see what they feel like here as you start to deepen that stretch out. Place the hands back down. This time bring the elbows to the ground. Bring the palms together. And bring the hands all the way behind the head like a little shark fin. If you want to go further here, creep the elbows forwards towards the front of the mat to intensify that stretch. Couple of breaths. And then releasing the hands all the way down. Slowly, gently start to walk the hands back in towards you. And lift yourself up into a kneeling position at the back of the mat. Nice, slow movements. When you get there, bring the hands down by the side of you. And just start to roll the shoulders back one at a time. Okay, 
checking in with any little bit of resistance that you might feel as you glide the scapula here. And then circling the shoulders the opposite way. Good, coming back to stillness. Place the hands behind the head and the elbows wide. Draw the elbows apart and lift through the heart space, gazing up slightly. Take a breath in. As you exhale, tuck the head in, bring the elbows together, round to the spine, stretch out through the neck. Inhale, elbows peel open, heart lifts. Exhale, head tucks in, spine rounds. Just a couple more of those, nice and slow. Final one. And the next time the elbows are open, hearts lifted, you're going to stay here. Take an inhale at centre. And as you exhale, start to lean over towards the right side, welcoming that length into the left side of the body. Inhale to come back to centre. And exhale over towards the left side. Good, one more on each side. Good, finishing over to the left. Inhale to centre, stay as you are, maybe arms aching a little bit so you can keep the elbows wide. Take another in breath here in neutral. As you exhale, start to twist the spine towards the left this time, keeping the elbows wide. Perfect. Inhale back to centre. And exhale, rotating towards the right. We do one more each side. Try and keep the hips nice and square. And allow the movement to come from the ribcage. Finishing by twisting over to the right. And then coming all the way back to centre, release the hands down, give the shoulders a few rolls out, give the arms a little shake. And then just start to creep yourself forwards, coming into a tabletop position. Separate the feet here, hip distance apart. Lift them off the ground and give them a little shake out. They might be feeling a little bit tender after sitting on them for a few minutes. And then release the feet down, coming into your neutral tabletop. From here, we're going to come into our puppy pose. So start to walk the hands forward slightly, and then lower the chest down towards the ground. Keeping the hips stacked over the knees, they're working to open more into the shoulders and more into the heart space. Stay a little bit active here by pressing into the hands, and finding a little bit of activation in those shoulders. Good, holding here, finding that stretch, and take an in-breath here as you are, and use your exhale to start to round yourself all the way forward. So we're going to bring the belly down to the ground, bend the elbows, and arrive in a cobra shape. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears, lift the heart. We're going to move one breath per movement now, so start to lift yourself back up. Hips come over the knees, and we find our puppy pose. And then we think up and over, slowly coming back down into your cobra. One more time. Meeting here in your cobra, heart opens, chest lifts. And then slowly start to come all the way down onto your belly. Extend the right arm out by the side of you and bring your right ear to the ground. Start to roll onto the outside edge of the right leg, stacking the left hip on top of the right. Staying here as you are, if you want to, place the left foot all the way behind you onto the ground and work a little bit more into that right shoulder. Take a few breaths here.
How does this pose feel today? What's going on? Gently start to come all the way back onto your front. Stack your head on your hands at the top of the mat. Give the hips a little wiggle out. We're going to come straight over to the other side. Extend the left arm out long. Bring the left ear to the ground. Right hand is rest by the side of the face. We start to roll onto the outside of the left leg. Staying here or stepping that right foot behind you. Breathe here. Last breath. Start to come all the way back onto your front head on the hands. Give the hips a little wiggle out. Perfect, so like to start to slide the hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale into a baby cobra gentle lift of the heart. Staying here as you are or starting to float the hands. And stay here as you are or starting to float the feet. Breathing wherever you are for three. So two. And four, one. Come all the way down to your front. Inhale, final time, cobra. Exhale, push back onto your knees, come into your tabletop position. From here, start to come into your pigeon pose, right side. Gliding right shin forward, foot opens towards the left side of the mat. Maybe walking that left hip back a little bit, maybe using a block or a cushion under that right hip for a bit of support. Sit nice and tall, rising up onto your fingertips, take an inhale. Exhale, start to fold forwards over that leg any amount. Head to the hands or to the ground. Feel that hip open. And maybe you've been working out or been for a run. Maybe your legs are feeling a little bit heavy and tight today. Maybe this pose is a bit uncomfortable. So whatever you've got going on, whether it's challenging or whether you're welcoming this posture, just let it be. And use your breath to help you here. Gently start to lift yourself up, walking the hands back in towards you, bringing the palms underneath the shoulders. From here, we're going to tuck the left toes under and pick up that knee. And then start to pick up the right knee as well and bring the right foot down into the ground into a lunge position. Drop the left knee back down, so arriving here into a low lunge. Make sure the hips are nice and square. And then start to release the right hand off the ground, reach it all the way forwards, up and back. And then drawing a semicircle, come back where you started, reaching it all the way forwards, up and down. Okay, a few times like that, coming forwards and back. And coming down. We'll do two more. Maybe gaze follows where those right fingertips go. Last one. We'll meet with that right hand down to the outside of the foot. As you inhale, we're going to start to lift the chest and extend the arms out by the side of you. Peel that heart open. Maybe gazing up. And you can stay here or bring the hands on to the lower back. Elbows together and lift more through the heart space. Breathing for three. 
So two. And full one. Good. Start to release the hands. Bring them down to frame the foot. Tuck the left toes under. Pick up the knee. And then step back into a downward facing dog. May be pedaling out the legs a little bit. Wailing the head, yes, and no. And then coming to stillness in your downward facing dog. Start to rise up onto your tiptoes, lift the hips higher up to the sky. And then lower the heels back down any amount. Two more times, rise onto your tiptoes, lift the heels. And lower back down. Last one. Meeting back in your neutral down dog. Look forwards between the palms and start to drop the knees down, coming back into your tabletop position. From here, slide the left knee forwards, coming into your pigeon pose left side. Opening out that foot, maybe guiding the right knee back, maybe using a prop under that hip if you'd like to. Fingertips on the ground, heart lifts, hips nice and square, inhale here. Exhale to fold forwards over that left leg. Finding your pose and noticing if you start to roll over to the left side. So you can keep that right hip guiding down towards the ground. So you're welcoming that squared position. Few more breaths here. And then slowly starting to lift yourself all the way back up. Hands come underneath the shoulders, right toes tuck under, we pick up the knee, and then we pick up that left knee and bring the sole of the left foot to the ground now. Right knee drops down, toes on top. We find our lunge position on the left side. Right hand's going to stay planted, left arm reaches forwards, up, and then back. We draw that half circle, and then we come all the way back again. A few more, reaching forwards, up and back. And then tracing your steps back where you started. Good. Two more times. Lovely, guys. Last one. I'm meeting with that left hand back to the outside of the foot. And as you inhale, start to lift the chest, expand the arms out by the side of you, heart lifts. Take an inhale here. And an exhale. And then bringing the hands onto the lower back, elbows to get the heart lifts open. Breathing here for three. For two. And for one. Good. Release the hands down, bring them either side of the front foot. Tuck the right toes under and pick up that knee and then take a big step back, downward facing dog. Bending one knee at a time. And then coming to stillness. This time, turn the toes that are facing towards the right long edge of the mat. Coming into this down dog position with the feet at an angle and just notice, just check in. How does it feel to be in this different version of the pose today? What makes this different in your body? And then coming back through centre, turn the toes to face the left long edge. Keep the hips reaching high up to the sky, keep spreading the weight evenly in the hands. 
Terma toes, they're facing back forwards. Look between the palms and drop the knees down. Good, this time swivel the feet round. Come to a seated position onto the mat. When you arrive here, hips come down onto the ground, soles the feet on the ground as well. Going to come into our Navasana, our boat pose. Going behind the thighs, leaning back slightly, lifting the feet off the ground. Spine is lengthened. Core is switched on. And we're going to see here what it feels like to reach for our feet and open the knees a little bit wider. So think about kind of Malasana here, yogi squat. So knees nice and wide in your Navasana. Working with our balance. And then see what it feels like to maybe straighten through the left leg. Rebend. And straighten through the right. Rebend. So a few times, one leg at a time. Straightening and bending. And then from here, maybe see what it feels like to straighten through both legs. So legs are wide, lengthened any amount. Checking with that spine, see if you can lengthen a little bit more. Hold here, three, two, and one. Bring the legs back together. Bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet down to the ground. Good, extend the legs out long. Flex the feet, feel free to bend the knees a little bit if that feels beneficial to you. Inhale, reach the arms high up to the sky. Exhale, fold forwards over the legs any amount. Come into your seated fold here. And feel free to be a little bit restorative today if you want to pop cushions, blocks, blankets onto your legs here to allow the forehead to rest on. Feel free to do that. Last full breath, folding forwards. And then using your next inhale, start to lift your weight all the way back up to seated. Cross the left ankle over the right knee, creating a figure of four shape, sorry, right ankle over the left knee, creating a figure of four shape with the legs. Bring the hands behind you onto your fingertips. And then bend through the left knee to bring the sole of the foot to the ground. Coming to our seated pigeon stretch. Staying here or maybe walking the hands a little bit closer towards you. Maybe bring the chest a little bit closer towards that shin to intensify. So again, just check in where you're at today. doesn't matter. Let the body guide you. Take a moment. And then easing out of the stretch just a little bit. Extend the left leg out long and bring the sole of the right foot to the ground. Left leg can stay lengthened or you can swing it round next to the hip. I'm going to start to twist towards the left side. Sorry, the right side. <laughs> Not doing well on my left and right today. Hugging the right knee of the left arm. With our right fingertips, we reach all the way forwards, up and back through a nice big circle. Place the fingertips on the ground. If you'd like to, left arm hooks all there on the outside of that knee to intensify the twist. The journey starts to unravel back to centre. Keep the legs as they are, and we're going to start to stack the knees now. So bringing that right knee all the way down on top of the left, creating our cow face position, or a shoelace position. Or you the option to have that left leg out long still, if that's better. Coming into our eagle arms, we're going to bring right arm underneath the left. Back to the hands can come together, palms to the hands can come together, or you can give yourself a hug. Use your inhale to reach the arms up to the sky. And breathe here, opening through the shoulders. Good. 
slowly start to release out of the stretch, releasing the arms, unraveling them. Extend the left leg out long, followed by the right. Give the arms, the legs a little bit of a shake out. Stretching the other way now, so left ankle comes over right leg, figure of four shape. Hands behind you, right foot to the ground, seated pigeon stretch, your version. Last couple of breaths. And then gently releasing, starting to extend right leg out long. Bring the sole of the left foot to the ground. Maybe swinging that right leg around next to the hip if you want to. Twist towards the left, hugging the left knee. And then sweep the fingertips all the way forwards, up and back, place them on the ground behind you. Maybe hooking the right arm around the outside of the leg to twist further. Gently starting to unravel, keeping the legs as they are and stacking the left knee directly on top of the right. Shoelace, cow face, option to keep the right leg extended if you want to. Forearms right in front, this time left arm comes underneath and we find our eagle arms the opposite way. Inhale to reach the arms up to the sky, finding that stretch. Gently releasing, unraveling the arms, unravel the legs, let right leg extend, followed by left. Give everything a little shake out one more time. And we're going to come to a cross leg position here. So just crossing the legs, how it feels comfortable for you. Finding your Sukhasana or easy pose. And bring the palms facing up onto the knees. Start to soften your gaze or close off through the eyes if that feels comfortable. We're going to end our practice here today. So just take these last final moments to do a final check in with your mind and body. Has anything shifted for you after those gentle movements? What feelings, what thoughts, what emotions are present? Are they the same or are they different? Are they fresh and new? Or are they ones you've been carrying around with you for a while now? Take that final check in. And always remembering that yoga isn't about judging yourself. It's not about labelling things as good or bad. It's simply about finding that awareness. It's about opening our mind. And connecting to ourselves on that deeper level. When you feel ready, start to bring the hands together into prayer position in front of the chest. We we'll find a gentle smile here by lifting the corners of the mouth ever so slightly. Take a full breath in through the nose. 
Side out through the mouth. And allow those eyes to peel back open in your own time. Thank you for checking in with me today. I hope you enjoyed those 30 minutes of gentle, kind movements. Feel free to let me know how you found this practice in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Lots of love.